At Google, our services and products run on a globally distributed computing system made up of many machines and data centers. They're all linked to a large scale network that's core to what makes Google services, including Google Cloud, run. So how does Google's data center networking work? First, you need to understand the size of our network. Google's network supports a one petabit per second bisectional bandwidth. To put that in perspective, you could transfer the entirety of Wikipedia in under a second, or enough bandwidth to read the entire scanned contents of the Library of Congress in less than one tenth of a second. While I could talk about the fiber optic cables or physical switches we use, the real power comes from how we manage traffic at scale. See, the networking between data centers is built with diverse pathways of fiber interconnecting data centers, points of presence, or local network access points, and even continents through subsea cables. We need to ensure data centers can talk to each other for resilience so we can serve traffic close to our users and customers. To do that, we use our global wide area network. Our goal is to create enough redundancy and capacity of the overall network to reduce traffic congestion in any one area and withstand any network failures. That's why at our data centers, we've invested in not just one fiber link out of a building, but many fiber links to provide more paths and redundancy to our long haul network or wide area network. So what's happening within the data centers once traffic passes through these links? Our data center network fabric is made up of a closed hierarchical switching fabric we designed called Jupiter, which connects hundreds of thousands of machines across data center buildings. Machines at the data center have physical connections or switching into Jupiter, and all traffic flowing through Jupiter is controlled by a central software defined controller. Jupiter is able to provide such large bandwidth because it's non-blocking, which means it can handle routing a request to any free output port without interfering other traffic. This means it can scale or burst with extremely low latency and is capable of building resilience. If something in the fabric breaks, it can handle disruptions. So where does Google Cloud traffic fit into all of this? Andromeda is a virtualized software-defined network built on top of Jupiter giving you your very own slice of our massive global switching fabric. Andromeda enables you to deploy a virtual private cloud network, giving you both functional and performance isolation and a high degree of security. With its global control plane, high-speed on-host virtual switch and packet processors, you can burst thousands of stateful machines online in minutes or deploy firewall rules across thousands of machines immediately without choke points. And because compute and storage are separated and talk to each other through the network, they can scale independently so you get virtually unlimited storage and stateless, resilient compute. Whether you're processing petabytes of data in seconds using BigQuery, running consistent databases across regions using Spanner, or auto-scaling GKE clusters across zones, Google's data centers and global network backbone together make these technologies impressive. If you want to learn more, check out cloud.google.com networking.